The Monday Advantage number 18, pretense and the false identity. A lot of the work I do as a coach is helping people disrupt their false identity systems. You see, what happens early on in their development before they became leaders is they concluded that they were inadequate or they were incompetent because of something. And they cast a shadow on themselves. And then shame started to form, deep shame. And they felt a sense of insignificance. And out of that, later on in life, they became very preoccupied with power. And how that reveals itself is the power always has to come back to them. It means to disempower others. And what happens to offset that shame is we objectify others to offset that shame. We make us hard people to love, hard people to please. We become critical of them, judgmental only to really truly reveal underneath all that what we really disown in ourselves. What you don't like in others is what you disown in you. So what if you came to that person and re reframed it, opened your heart instead of defending your heart, instead of cynicism, moved to the vulnerability you had as a child in being accepting and letting them know that you don't want them to change anything and that you'd like to be with them and accept them as they are. And what you will notice is an incomparable freedom in you to be who you really are. When was the last time you danced? When was the last time you sang, hummed a tune, chanted? When was the last time you enjoyed the sweet spot of the silence? That is where your soul lives. That is where your finest quality of expression is available to you. But the fundamental disease is amnesia. We forget that. We fall back on our self-protection. We fall back on our inability to be vulnerable. And your greatest sources of leadership are compassion and understanding so that you can operate from this place. So Monday advantage number 18 is to give up that false identity. Quit making impressions to the world around you to be approved. To utilize the others as a source of approval to offset your shame. Recognize it like an old friend. You don't have to operate from there. You can make a choice. You can operate out of the pure awareness that you are and the love that you are to give, or you can defend yourself. But I will tell you that if you operate in the defending, you will empty yourself in a way that you won't be full, fully alive, fully in the heart, fully available. You won't have the juice of life. And to me, that's really what makes this all worthwhile, is enjoying the juice of life. So the Monday advantage number 18 is really about taking that mask off. And what are the risks for you to do that? What will be the risk for you to step over that threshold and to be true to yourself by choice? Thank you.